One cool feature that Bangle.js has that you may not know about is the ability to enter text on it. So um, there are apps like Notify, um, and these will install a default keyboard. But there are also apps built into the Bangle that will use the keyboard if one's available. So for example, you probably wouldn't have realized that when you go to Alarm and New, a new alarm, um, you know, you see a bunch of options here, but there isn't the option to have a message for the alarm. So um, if we add a keyboard, we can tap on keyboards here and we can choose a bunch of different ones. I believe the default is the touch keyboard. So we'll try that. It's just loading. Okay. So now if I go back to the alarms, new alarm, we'll see there's a message field in here. So if I tap on it, there's a little on-screen keyboard and some text. So just as an, as an example, if I try and write the word bread, so I'll move along until the um, B is highlighted, go up to W, R, say to R, E, A, And then you just press the button or tap up there to, to go back and you'll find that um, bread is shown there. So let's just, um, let's just get out of this one for now. Okay, what if we want to try another method? Um, so another neat one is the swipe keyboard. Now the swipe keyboard is very much like a um, old Palm Pilot where each letter is made by a certain type of swipe. So if I pop up this um, image here, you can kind of see what I mean. So let's let's try this again on the alarm app and see what happens. So if I put a new alarm in, message, and now we see this and we can just start typing straight away. So to do bread, I go down, up, whoops, my, uh, my finger went off, so down, up, round, round, like that. <laughs> That's got an R. It takes a bit of getting used to B and then R is just across and down. Uh, that's T, sorry. R then is down, up, round like that. E is a, a rounded um, E. A is literally just up and down like that. D around like that. There you go. And now you can press the button to, to input it. Um, it's quite fun um, and after a bit of practice you'll get much better at getting the um, getting the characters in properly but there are other ones too for instance the way everyone used to enter text is like the t9 keyboard which is what the the multi-tap app does so if we try that one now whoops it's still uploading here we go Alarms, the new one. And it gives you a little bit of help saying swipe right to add a space, left to backspace, up to um, move mode, which I believe is um, for things like numbers and things like that. So let's try this. Okay, so we'll type B, two taps for that, and it automatically goes down to lowercase. We'll do three for R, A, D. There we go. Um, and that was very quick and very easy. So that's probably a pretty good one to try using, especially if you've used T9 in the past. So you've got an idea of of which letter, which um, buttons you have to press for which letters. But yeah, this is uh, quite a handy feature. Um, it's nice to be able to name alarms, but also um, if you're using Android and Gadget Bridge, you can also reply to letters, so you reply to messages on some apps, like I think WhatsApp and SMS, with a response that you've actually typed in. Um, yeah, thanks for listening.